Hey guys, gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix It Man, and uh, we're here to look at this beautiful 1949, 1951. Okay, I didn't get to look at the front real close. Oh yeah, 51. And uh, this is Wayne Gage. Hedge. Hedge. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about it. This is his car. And so, Wayne, can you tell us um, how long you've owned it, number one? I've had the car soon be 14 years. Okay. And I bought it over in Humphreys County. And I've upgraded it a lot. I've got a Mustang 2 front end under it. Okay. Got a late model 50 engine, automatic transmission, power steering, air condition. Okay. And, uh, Got it fixed up where I go in and where I want to take it. Yeah. yeah. Now, was this a, a project in process when you bought it, or was it a... It had a lot of work done to it, and then I've done a whole lot of work to it okay. since I bought it. All right. Now, you correct me, but this is a business coupe, isn't that yeah, right? That's right. Because it's not a sedan, because the sedans... I had a 50 sedan back in the day. Yeah. The sedan had... A small window right. back here, and the roof was actually longer back. Right. Yeah. And you'll notice uh, if we look back here, it has a long space between between the rear window and the trunk, and that space was shortened up about halfway back with the uh, regular standard body. So I guess one of the things that uh, threw me off with this being a '51, '51s originally had back here yeah. and the tail like sticks way out back. Okay, so is this a business? Okay. 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 And uh, tell me about the tail lights. I know that uh, they have at least been Frenched in and, and hooded. Are yeah, these the original uh, style tail lights? That's uh, 49 or 50 model tail light. Okay. The 51 tail light was too long to French in. Right. It had two cones on the lens where this is just a oval. Yep. And the headlights have been French in. And Tell us about the bumpers. That's what they call a Plymouth style bumper. That's just a aluminum bumper. You can get it bent to fit any of it. Oh, okay. Yep. Of course, folks, those are not real bullet holes. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see, these are, what kind of wheels are these? They're just Pacer mag wheels. Okay. Uh, similar, similar to the old uh, American racing wheels. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Now, your, the chrome side trim is definitely custom, and I can see right here, that this piece here was the cut off a shorter door, maybe up to a four door. Now that chrome come off a 55 buddy. Okay. 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 Remember that now. Yeah, I bought that. That's a very neat setup. Here you go. Mustang GT. Okay, it's a driver, right? Yeah. That's what it was intended to be. Yeah, it can't be spotless if it's a driver. Oh, I like that. You've you've put a material insert on the dashboard. Yeah, yeah. To match the door panels. Very nice. And is there significance to the rows on the door? Yeah, should have been a red rose instead of a pink rose. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put that on there, though. Oh, okay. Very, very nice. Yeah. Now, did you put the console in, or was that already in there uh, when you got it? console and all of the interior there, seats and everything come out of a 2002 Mustang. Oh, okay. I had these seats recovered and left the headrest off. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. Looks yeah. a lot better this way, yeah. I think. Well, let's go around the front here. Notice how 
nicely that door closed. Oh yeah. Are are these uh, real spots or dummy no, spots? Them's, them's dummy spots. Dummy that. spots. Yeah. That's the way they were in the fifties. Yeah. And one of the major differences you could tell on between a 49 to 51 is the 49 and 50 had a bullet in the middle and the 50, yeah, and that was cut out at the top, but the 51 had two bullets, yep, and the hood was straight across. And uh, a lot of guys in the old days would get a 51 hood, put it on a 49 or a 50, that way they could have the smoother grill. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at this engine. Wow. So this, uh, you said 4.0, this would be a 5.0. Yeah. So is that basically the same as like a 302? 302. 302? Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, that came out of a 89 Mercury. Okay. And, uh, of course I've got the power conditioning on it, the power rack, pinion steering, power disc brakes. And, uh, and an AOD transmission. We're, we are in Tennessee, so you have to have air conditioning down here if you're going to yeah. drive it in the summertime. Right. Unless you're going to hang your elbow out the door all the time. Right. <laughs> very, very nice. Is that a Holly four barrel on there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Custom aluminum radiator. Now, this is, uh, is this not part of the factory grill at all, is it? No. This part is original. Yep. But this down here is custom made. Okay. Very nice. I, I like the way you, uh, instead of filling in the holes for the side lights, you put those uh, cone-shaped bolts on there. Yeah. It adds yeah. a nice touch to it. Yeah. And as he said, look at the headlights. These. These are called Frenched in. Frenched because they're smooth, there's no headlight ring, and they're also sunken headlights. And usually Frenched and sunken go together, but not always. Very, very nice. you'd all enjoy taking a look at this beautiful customized 1951 Ford. Very, very nice. Well, thank you all for watching, commenting, and thank you so much to our friend for showing it to us and telling us all about it. Yeah. Thanks for I subscribing am. and commenting, and we'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Okay.